Yes, my dad sang this to me when I was a little girl. And I hadn't thought about it for years, but just one day the Lord brought it back to my memory. And he was a daddy that loved his kids. And we all knew it. So this is a song he sang to me when I was just a little girl. A tiny turned up nose Two cheeks just like a rose So sweet from head to toes That little girl of mine Two eyes that shine so bright Two arms that hold me tight Two lips that kiss goodnight that little girl of mine no one will ever know just what her coming has meant because i love her so she's something heaven has sent she's all the world to me she climbs upon my knee to me she'll always be that little girl of mine. All right, I call you Graham, but you're really Joanne Troutman. Yes. And so I've had the privilege of hanging out here with y'all for several months. and got to know you just a bit, and you have a special story. So I was wondering if you would have something to pass on to the youngers that might not Get to know you as well as I have because you you know the Lord so well and you're a precious dear saint so here's a few minutes tell tell the people what you what you have to okay, say okay I was raised Catholic uh, and uh, one thing that I knew for sure that we were taught God was good he could do anything so I always expected him to do anything so when I was uh, in my junior year, we moved to Central Point and went to high school my last two years. And uh, the first time that my husband, Herb Troutman, saw me at school, he said, the Lord spoke to him and said, you're gonna marry that girl. But he didn't talk to me for the whole two years. <laughs> Then on senior skip day, we started going together. Three months later, we were married. And we had 67 beautiful years together. Wow. And also, we had six beautiful kids, two boys and then four girls. And uh, we weren't, uh, didn't give our hearts to the Lord until 64. And then, uh, we came to, to know the Lord, but all that whole time, my husband spoke to me about the Lord every night. This, this, and this, out of the Bible. So I said, okay. So anyway, then when we got saved, we began to serve the Lord with our whole heart. And just a few years later, we began to pastor. And uh, we taught our kids about the Lord. <laughs> In fact, as they went to church before we did, and they prayed for us to get saved. How, how old do you, were you when you came to the Lord? How old was I? Yeah. Uh, 33, I think it was. 33. Yeah, 31, 33, somewhere in there anyway. Yeah, early 30s. And then we served the Lord ever since. We pastored in uh, three different states, and the Lord's been so good. But then we had, like I said, we had the six kids. Then we had eight grandkids, then I have like 24 great, great grandkids wow. and three great, great, wow. great grandkids. Have you met all of them? I've met all the two of the little ones, the great, great grandkids, because they live back east. So I haven't met them, but all the rest. And I've just enjoyed the kids and the grandkids so much. We always have fun. We enjoy one another, love to play games, and uh, it's just been a good life. God has been so good to me. I tell everybody I'm one of his pets, and I really, really believe I am because 
now I'm, well, next week, I'll be 89 years old, and I am strong, healthy, can do almost anything I want to. I just get tired a little faster. <laughs> but God is so good, and I am so glad to be a Christian and to know Him. And all my kids are saved. We got a few couple in there, a few, let's see, maybe about four or five in, that are in the great grandkids that aren't saved. But they're all coming to the Lord. Most of them have been raised in church. They know how good God is. And we've just had so much fun with them. We used to take the little kids camping up by the lake. Oh, they had the best time. And we would take like two boys at once, Jimmy and uh, Stevie, and they would play. Then we took Les up one time where we were hunting and let her shoot a rifle so she could shoot at, at the, whatever you call that thing. Target? <laughs> at the target. Yeah. Yeah, so she had a good time. But we've had different, almost all of them we've taken when they were little and just enjoyed them so much. You got to baptize some of them. Or all of them? No. Didn't, didn't Grandpa baptize some of them? Boy, that's terrible. I can't remember that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, well, we'll edit that we out. We married <laughs> some of them. Uh huh. Uh huh. But I, I don't remember baptizing them. But uh, like I said, we just and we have a good relationship with our our kids, our grandkids. Right. We love them all, and they are so good to me. They are so good to me. The Lord is just... If great. there was one or two real key secrets to having a close relationship with Jesus, what do you think that would be? Spending time with Him. Just the Bible said that uh, come before Him boldly into the throne room. We can go right before God and spot, just pour our heart out to Him. And then I was baptized with the Holy Ghost also and spoke with other tongues. And then the Lord uh, used my husband and I both in the ministry and almost in all the gifts of the Spirit at different times. But it's that relationship, the time that you take and spend with Him and talk with Him and just pour your heart out to Him that you become closer related and know how much He loves you. What do you do every morning? I see you and, and Ginger and you know, sitting yes, around. Yes, uh, for an hour at least uh, before I come out of my bedroom, I pray and talk to the Lord. Then when we get up, we read our devotionals and, uh, and then also in the Bible. And right now I'm reading through the Bible in a year also, which I've done before. But uh, it's that word, we need the word to get into us. Mm -hmm. And the word is what makes a difference in your life. Believing it, confessing it, acting like it's true, and then living like it's true. Right on. That's so precious. I, I, I'm inspired by y'all, what you do day after day after day. Yeah, we try not to miss it. We'll so it's, it's speaking to the Lord and it's hearing from the Lord. Yes. And it's obeying the Lord. Yes, that's right. And trusting yeah. the Lord. Yes, yes. Because sometimes when, like I said, we were gifted with most of the gifts of the Spirit. And sometimes they're kind of scary when he tells you to do this or say this. And I think, who, Lord? But every time you obey, he does exactly what he said. Right. He heals, he delivers, he sets people free. He just meets every need they've got. He's yeah. so, so good. You have a favorite scripture, don't you? One you read every day, or you speak every day. Oh, the 91st Psalm. The 91st Psalm. <laughs> Do you, can you quote that for us? Do you know that? Well, I actually, I read the whole <laughs> the 91st Psalm, but... Uh, one very favorite because I didn't know it at first. And when you get older, you trip a little bit. So he, uh, he brought the scripture to, well, enlightened it as I read it every day, that uh, he gives his angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. They bear, they bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. 
so I don't worry about falling. And I, the second part where you don't fall, but the first part where he said, he gives us angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. All of a sudden that one hit me and I thought, oh yeah, anywhere I go, Lord, those angels are hovering over me. So I have no fear. No fear, mm. because he's so good. Well, on behalf of everybody who's going to watch this that knows you at all, we want to say we love you, and we hope you have a happy birthday and many more, except that Jesus <laughs> might come soon, that and we can good. all go. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you for taking time with me this oh, morning. I enjoyed it. Uh, anything, God last words? He is good. God is good all the time. All the time. All right. And that's all for my interview with Joanne Troutman. Love you. Love you too.